My name is Emily Fonwell Oge of Letters Farm. So today we want to learn how to read your manual skill that we use in fish sales. This is because selling is a very, very important factor in the business. Without sales, there is no need doing the business. There will be no profit. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show us some, just some explain some certain things so that in case. When you are selling, you should be able to know when you are being cheated so that nobody will have any issue. So if you are joining us for the first time, this is Let Us Farm page. And uh, all we do here is to learn the practical solutions to solving our various agri problems. And if you are currently having any challenges in your farm, what you simply need to do is do a two to three minutes video. When I get this video, I will look at it and uh, I will provide a solution that definitely Will help you out and i also use this opportunity to remind you that we are not forming any whatsapp group should anyone tell you that let us farm is forming a whatsapp group that's a lie i don't know what those guys are talking about so everything i want to tell you will be done here except if you are sending me a video and i'm replying you but to form a whatsapp group no we are not so and i also want to use this opportunity to implore us that if you've not followed what's uh, let us farm page kindly follow us on our different pages on different platforms so all these services I'm providing for you, it's free. There is no charges for anything. So just follow, learn, and improve. All the best as we learn together because the sky is big enough to accommodate everybody. So just I'll be right back to explain and show us how to read our skill so that we don't get cheated in the farm. So this is a typical example of using... A manual scale to weigh fish you can see now the fishes will be packed in a bath like this kept on the weighing scale so as it's kept like this we, what we do here is that we are looking at it to see the actual measurement of the size of fish so after watching it if it did not balance that's when you see fishes are being added the reason for adding this thing is to make the balancing a round figure so you have to either remove a very big one and put a smaller one to balance it. Yes. So um, what I'm having in my hand is the manual scale. The digital scale will display a digital number. So once it displays that digital number, all you need to do is simply just press. You will see a side in the digital number where it wrote with scale. Press on it so it will readjust itself to zero. But before you do that, the bath that or any container that you want to use as a carry-on that you use to put the fish, what you do is that you carry that particular container, drop on top of that scale, and then press on the rescale. So when you do that, what the scale does is automatically it adjusts itself to zero. That's for the digital scale. Using that particular thing you want to use and weigh to zero. Remember, it is that particular thing you want to use and weigh that you rescale. So after that, you just take up the bath or the container, as it may, then put fishes inside. Remember, don't change that particular container. If you change that container, there may be a variation in sizes of the fish because the container itself will now add more weight to the fish. Hmm. So even the buyers will not even agree, self. So either you cheat yourself or you cheat them whichever way so them they say will not even agree but always shine your eyes because this is where the first problem starts happening you'll be thinking that you're having uh maybe you'll be thinking you're having 10 kg and meanwhile what the thing is actually reading is 9 kg so you're already shorting one kilo so all these things it happens so understand what i said about that then we are talking about this particular scale why i'm using this scale is that most people have this scale and it's very common because it's cheaper than those uh, this thing. But that doesn't mean that the digital one is not the good best. The digital one is the best because it will display the point. Even if there is 1.1, one one, it will show you. But in this case, you have to use your hand and eyes to read. And sometimes it brings some issues because all those buyers want a way that where you have point one, they want to remove the point and call it 1 kg. Okay, so... On this particular scale, see this is a manual scale we use in selling. Now this scale, when you look at this scale, you see that there is something here. 
Uh -huh. It looks like a dot. Uh -huh. What that thing does is that's what you use in rescaling this particular one. So you remember what I said in the digital that you put an object and rescale. So in this particular one, the bath or whatever container you want to use, bucket, anything that you want to use and sell, when you have emptied it, there's no water, make sure there's no water inside, put it on top. So when you put it on top, you just come here. When you come here, you turn this, you rescale. This thing is what you're using, rescaling. So you turn it until this hand comes to stand at zero. It will be shaking because it's my hand. It's on my hand. So you put it on a flat surface so that it will not be shaking. But as I'm carrying it now, it won't give us uh, uh, the actual measurement because, you know, it has to balance. If you watch now, it's on zero. And before you know, it will be shaking because it's on my hand. But that will not deter us from learning with it. So when you rescale, you see where this uh, red scale is? It will not come to zero. Now, when you look at this scale very well, when you look at this scale very well, there are two figures in this scale. Although in this particular one, because of the age, you may not see it very well. But look at it very well. You have the black, the black one on top, the black figures. You are having the black figures. You are seeing it, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. All these ones are the black figure. That is not your kg. That's not your kilogram. Your kilogram is the one under that is in the red. That is your kilogram. So whatever weight is here, watch now, it's reading on 3. Uh -huh. But up is reading on 6.5, but down is reading on 3. So the actual weight of my pressure hand down is 3 kg. So in case the, somebody is now reading up, that is the wrong one. It is the down one that you are reading. That is the kg. Now, when you look at this down one, you discover that after each figure, there is a small counting. Then there is a bigger one. Now, what happens is that it is from this is now zero. The next one will be point 0.1. So it will go like that until you reach the next one where it is written one. That is one kg. But if it's not up to that, you simply count those smaller ones as 0 0.1, 0 0.2, just like that until you get to the 1 kg. So also, the scale will read until the final one. This particular scale is a small scale. The capacity of this scale is 20 kg. We have the scale like this that the capacity is 50 kg. If you want to buy, do not buy this. These were some of the mistakes that some of us did when we started newly. Today, we are using digital. Don't buy this. So then, we, when we wanted to buy, we just thought that scale is scale, and we bought this. What now happens is that most fishes are not weighed below this. When you have, um, when you have all these big buyers that come to buy from your pond, most of the weighing that we weigh is on 30 kg. If you watch my videos, you see where we scale fishes in bath. All those rubbers you are seeing is 30, 35, 30, 35. That is the standard we use in putting fishes so that uh, it will not be too much and the fishes will not have issues. Those type of rubbers. So you can visit any of my harvest videos. You will see what I'm saying. Having said that, if you want to buy this type, buy the one that will be 50 kg. Don't buy this. This one will not work when you are on a commercial level because this one will only really weigh 20 kg. So imagine if you are using 20 kg to weigh like a, a 4,000 capacity pond. That's a, 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 that means you will sleep there. You won't finish the work on time. But if it's digital kg uh, uh, scale, buy those digital ones, the bigger, stronger ones. So those ones will do your job perfectly. So like I said, the reason for all these things is for you to understand, to avoid being cheap. So whenever you are looking at the scale, always make sure that you, your, your reading it's not the upper one. It is the one below, like I have said. So, you, even if this hand comes to this 11, it simply means 11 kilo. So, if it is between 11 and 12, you read the line. If it's on that straight one at the middle, that is 11.5. So, there is no uh, confusion. The reason why I'm saying this is that sometimes... Some of us will get uh, confused, especially when buyers try to put many words in your head. It will be confusing you. But remember the basic things. First of all, you must have to put what you want to use to measure the thing on top. Put your hand here and with skill. 
So when you have rescaled, this line, this your this is the measuring weight, must be on zero. It must be on zero. So once it's on zero, that means it has seen that rubber to be zero. Then any weight you put on top here would read. Now in some cases, to avoid confusion, if it is reading like two dot something, you can decide if if, if the person wants to buy, let's say he wants to buy like uh, uh, three kg, and it now reads uh, three dot two. What you will do to adjust the scale is not to touch here. If you touch here, you are just killing yourself because it means you are you are adjusting the scale to balance on the fish. No. What you simply do is you remove one of the fishes inside and put one that is smaller. So when you put it and weigh again, it will now balance. If you didn't balance, try and change all the fishes on it. You get the ones that will rhyme to the particular uh, weight the buyer wants to buy. Now, let me use another figure so that if we don't understand that, we'll understand this now. If somebody wants to buy, let's say wants to buy fishes of uh, 5 kilo, And now, in your pond, you have 3 to 5 kilo. So, you now put the 3 fishes. It now reads 5.5. .5. And the buyer say, ah, I don't have money to pay for the 0.5. Don't worry. There is a way out. You can't dash 0.5. That is too much. You can close eyes on 0.1, but 0.5 is too much. So, what you do is remove the bigger fish and put the one that is not as big as that you keep adjusting it until this hand will now be on that five if you watch the five here the five here is the same line with 11 but that doesn't mean that it's 11 kg it simply means that it's 5 kg so you are reading on the red line and not on the black line so if, if you are having any confusion on this, it's easy to rectify. So you just look at the scale. But if it is on a digital scale, just like I said, press on the rescale. So the rescale will help you to rescale the something so that you don't short pay yourself. Because you can short pay yourself. You can short pay yourself, actually. If the, if the scale itself is already reading, having like a five on top of it, and you add extra fishes there, and you think that you are making money, Meanwhile, it is your customer who is making more money. So your customer will buy uh, more fishes for less weight and automatically you are losing. So that's why always it's better you watch. Even you will notice your customer self, they will always be fighting to look at the scale because then they don't want to lose and you should not lose. I don't know whether we understand what we have. I have said. If you don't understand anything I have said about this scale, please, I will be waiting for you on the comment section. So that is something that I want us to really um, understand. If this scale now, it did not uh, resize your fish, rescale it to make it come to zero, and already the scale is already swallowing something before, you will be cheating yourself. Because what you are putting there will not be correct at the amount of uh, this thing. Some people may even come with their scale. Now, that is something that you should try and avoid. When, except it's a trusted buyer, if it's not a trusted buyer, don't use their scale. Because some buyers actually work on that scaling. They work on that rescaling. So what they do is that they make the rescaling to actually short. So what happens is that when the scale is supposed to be reading 10 kg, you'll be looking at it with your own eyes. You'll be seeing 7 kg because they've already twisted that uh, rescaling. And with that, because when you when you twist it back, you know, when you rescale it back, instead of zero, you now went back. So it already has more space. So the more you put the fish before, it will not get to the figure you are reading. And this is a big problem because instead of it to be getting your actual measurement, you will now be shorting while the customer will be gaining. So most of the times, I don't allow anybody to come with their scale. I will prefer, if I don't have scale, I go and rent scale. So when you rent the scale, bring the scale, the, the customer will come, look at the scale, you rescale it on his, on the, his or her own face, you will confirm that the scale is reading well. You can go ahead with your transaction. Uh -huh. So that you don't run foul of, at the point you're supposed to make money, you are losing money simply because of negligence. So if you have any question on how to rescale and everything, 
simply ask me on the comment section and I'll be glad to explain to you. Remember, this is Let Off Swan page. We are not forming any WhatsApp group. If you've followed us on our channel, remember these services are free. We are not charging you for anything. And uh, we don't really need your number for anything, please. So, until I come your way next time, I remain your Snowell Oge Emelifon of Let Us Farm. Keep farming. Farming is a way of life.